I'm John Woodhouse. I'm a public health doctor. I have several roles. I principally work for myself in independent practice, but I also am the faculty responsible officer for revalidation of doctors. How have you found the conference so far? The great benefit of a conference like this is the diversity. So I particularly enjoyed and I'm just processing to see how useful it would be, one of the sessions by the narrative people, uh, which seemed to be very popular. I think it's because this idea of storytelling is something that we recognise as being important, but we can't quite get into our psyche. Likewise, some of the sessions on children, which has been a long-term interest of mine, particularly things like children's rights and engaging children in a way that you help them approach their lives, is resonant and something that for me is a long-term interest. It's nice to see where people are and what's happening with that, particularly internationally, as I have no clue otherwise. My name's Dan Milne, I'm from Narrative and I've been here giving some workshops on storytelling and how story can be used as a tool for advocacy in this field. The session that I went to was entitled An Exciting Future for Public Health and one thing that came out of it strongly for me was this idea of um, research and evidence being very strongly what the faculty does and does well and should do and can do but how that needs to be interpreted and translated so that it makes a difference. And so I think there is a big piece of work to do in that translation bit. So the other thing that I got from the session was the idea of broadening the disciplines so that the medical sciences don't just sit in one box, bring in all the social sciences as well, and economics and politics and history, the arts as well, the creative sciences, if you like, bringing in how we communicate stories, how we can allow this church to be as broad as possible so that everybody finds their way into the issues. I'm Michelle McCoy and I'm working in NHS and Greece and Galloway. One of the reasons I I came here was the focus of the programme, particularly the mental health approach, looking at prevention. It's fundamental to public health. We're in a situation where we can't keep dealing with the the problems that exist. We need to be looking at early intervention prevention. We've known that for a long time. Um, It's just about actually making sure we do something in a coordinated, comprehensive way. 